Hi, this is my invention here right now. I'm going to show you how to, what I've got, came up with and all that. Uh, remember when we were talking about this right over here? Well, I kind of took one of my magnets out of here. As you can see, this thing's very well built. It, uh, underneath it, <coughs> you know, it's totally adjustable and everything. I didn't explain everything. I'm trying to explain some more things right now on it. Uh, basically, this is not a toy. This is a machine. Definitely a machine. You can tell by these gears and stuff. I mean, you're not going to find any of these gears like this in a toy. Any, even close to it. And this magnet, in this motor right here, this is a very small motor. The other question is, somebody said something about this motor. Uh, you're going to need more motors than that. Well, a bigger motor. I'm not going to need a bigger motor. It, it, all it is, is when this thing rotates around like so, it catches it. All it is, and it transfers motion all the way across, like I said. You can see very closely on that how this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how these coils work. And then I'm going to retrofit one in, making one up. Let me take you over here and I'll show you the demonstration on this. What I got is a tube here, and, that, and then this is magnet wire all the way through here. It's wrapped around. It's called Faraday's Law. It, it, this is nothing new. I mean, this is proven science. It's been around forever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that magnet out of this invention here, and I'm going to put it inside here where I showed you I took it out. And I'll run this. I'll turn these. Yeah, as, you, as you know, i got some lights on in here, and I'll just drop it through. As you notice, Absolutely nothing happens. This is a magnet. It's coiled. Absolutely nothing happens. Okay. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to insert this other magnet in here. A clear different magnet. Now I'll run this magnet through. Wow. See how it lights up? I mean, that gets really bright. Matter of fact, the camera's got to adjust for it. When I get it going, and all I'm doing is just shaking this back and forth inside here, see? Back and forth, back and forth. See? That's all I'm doing. Why is that? Why didn't that magnet work and this one did? Well, it's simple. I was kind of going through the physics and stuff, and the polarity's wrong. As you notice, the polarity's diametrically in this one, and it's this way on this one. That's the reason why I had a problem with these magnets running this thing. I uh, let me show you another demonstration here. I'm going to have these two magnets here. I'm going to put them in. It's the right polarity, and there's two separate ones. There's together. We'll put these magnets in here and try to see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? It lights up too. That lights up pretty bright. That's just two. Okay. Now we'll pull these two off of here and we'll put more on. There's like, what, eight of them there? We'll put them inside this tube and just try to see what happens. I'll slide them in the tube. It gets even brighter than it did before with all those magnets together. All I'm doing is sliding this in here like this. So, what I need to do is switch this magnet with this magnet. See? Different polarities. That's what the problem was. And then what I'm going to do is reinsert them into that 
They're the same size and everything. These are just a little thicker. It's going to go right here, my invention right here. Where I showed you the coils right here. This thing is pretty well made in that, as you can see. Let me zoom right on in. I'll have to retrofit it right into there. But the problem is right here, this thing comes like a, a, an arc. When I pull it up, let me back out a little bit. As you can see, it comes like an arc. And what I'm going to have to do is try to put some type of a pivot right inside of here to fix it. So when it goes in and out, it's going to go in and out straight and not come out in an angle. Also, the other thing I noticed what I got wrong is this is a steel gear here. That's a steel gear. I want to change that over to a plastic gear. This is th These magnets are attracting to the steel gear. That's the only thing I could get and I ran across some plastic ones I got to replace inside there so that way when it hits it trips this magnet here it's not going to be pulling some of the energy out of this magnet into this gear as this rotates as you can see I'll rotate this by hand see how it makes it oscillate back and forth let me back out and that you'd have some more views of this thing. It's pretty interesting how it's built. I'm also going to change these magnets right here. I'm going to go from uh, these are half, uh, one by one by half and what I want to get is one inch squares and put them in. That way it makes the field stronger in between here and here. There's magnets up in here. There's magnets inside of here. There's magnets all the way through this thing. You got some magnets that are repelling. You got some setting off the train. Uh, these magnets here, you got setting off the chain reactions. You got these magnets through here that transfer the motion. You got magnets between here that's transferring motions and repelling. You got magnets down here which I'm going to change these or they're creating them energy you got magnets everywhere all through this thing and it's very uh, very sophisticated in that the way it is what I'm going to do is try to get these incorporated first these coils once I get these coils incorporated in there and get the lights to work then I'm going to try to get it to feed back and let me zoom right on in to this little electric motor right there. Once I get that to feed back into there then it's going to be self running and then I'm going to try to find out how many I can get. I could build this thing way bigger. There's no problem on that. I got the machine shop and everything. I could build this thing no problem. Got everything to test. Got everything all together. So later on, we'll get back together with you and I'll show you what I got. Once I get these coils retrofit in there, the next step is to try to get it to feed, to try to get the loop in and then to try to keep it running. But I only can take it one step at a time and that way I make sure everything's working right and everything that's on it but uh, in the meantime you'll just have to wait till I get these coils retrofitted in there and do some more testing once I do that I'm gonna uh, start trying to get the loop going and then we'll try to finish this project up I'll let you go and thank you for your time